Hey everyone, this is Nick Orlando with Core AI. And in this video, I am going to be talking about backend system integrations with your virtual assistant. Um, <clears throat> so what first we're going to talk about what I mean by backend system integration. Uh, second, we're going to talk about the types of backend system integrations. So pre-built, which is an out-of-the-box integration or a custom integration. And then we're going to talk about, uh, you know, kind of why this is important, why, why it's important to the whole process of building your virtual assistant. So to get started, what do I mean by a system integration or a backend system integration? Well, this is an integration between your virtual assistant and any system that is storing the data that it needs access to in order to answer questions or fulfill requests from your end users. Uh, for example, this integration could be into Salesforce or Shopify. It could be into your HR platform. Whatever the systems are that store data, right, about what your business is doing and what you want to surface through the virtual assistant, that's what I mean by uh, backend system integration. In the financial services sector, for example, this could be an integration into a core banking system or into wherever the account information is stored for each of the bank's clients so that the virtual assistant can then go see what are the transactions, what are the balances, um, and can interact with the different accounts that are held by each user. Um, <clears throat> So that's what we mean by backend systems integration. And there are typically two different forms that the integration is going to take. It's either gonna be pre-built or it's going to be custom. Uh, so your pre-built integrations come out of the box, right? And the way that this works is usually, uh, it's just a click of a button. It's a, a click of a button, couple of clicks in order to get everything set up. That means that the virtual assistant is then able to communicate with whatever system it's looking to gather data from, and everything's good to go. One huge, huge thing that I want to mention is a lot of different providers advertise pre-built out-of-the-box integrations. Uh, not as many deliver and have all of those pre-built out-of-the-box integrations. So make sure as part of your due diligence process, you're diving deep and making sure that it is out of the box and pre-built. Otherwise, then you're going into the custom integration area. Uh, nothing wrong with custom integrations. It happens all the time. Um, <clears throat> the key difference though is there's going to be some coding involved when you're building out a custom integration. So typically, typically the way that these custom integrations work is it's going to be a, a webhook where you can then go make an HTTP request. Uh, typically it's either a, a get or a post request to gather or send the information needed to whatever API you're interacting with in order to go, uh, again, gather or send that information and fulfill the request that you're trying to do. Um, this typically requires, or not typically, this always requires coding. Um, unless you already have the code pre-built. But in order to do these custom integrations, there is development uh, There is development time that is needed. So that's the biggest thing. Those pre-built ones are meant to get you up and running in a very, very short amount of time. Whereas the custom integrations can definitely add time to your entire development life cycle. Um, and finally, coming back to why these are important, right? This is important because now, rather than having really just a static, uh, scripted, robotic uh, chatbot, if you will, um, that can just understand a handful of things and just speak or you know type back uh, pre-built responses, now with the integrations, you have the ability to build full conversational experiences that maintain context, that can you know, gather information that can be personalized based on certain specific information for each user, um, that can be completely tailored based on all of the data and all of the systems that the virtual assistant has access to. So you can now start to build out very robust conversational experiences rather than just having a scripted kind of chat body type feel. You're building out a full conversational virtual assistant that people are going to really enjoy interacting with and using and are going to want to use more and more over time. 
Uh, so that's a little bit about systems integrations or backend system integrations. Uh, thanks so much for your time. And I look forward to our next conversation. Bye.